All right, welcome back to the last video in this unit, Molen Stoichiometry Part 6. Now we're going to be talking about a special type of empirical and molecular formula problem called combustion analysis. Let's get to it. So, when we're doing empirical formula from combustion analysis, that means we are combusting or burning some hydrocarbon in excess oxygen, and then that hydrocarbon is going to produce water and it's going to produce carbon dioxide. And so by calculating the amount or the mass of water and the amount of or mass of carbon dioxide produced, we can figure out what the original empirical formula was of the original hydrocarbon. So here's our problem. A 5 gram sample of hydrocarbon was burned in oxygen and produced 14.67 grams of carbon dioxide and 9 grams of water. We're going to find the empirical formula of that hydrocarbon. So typically I would want to start with a balanced equation. Problem is, I'm not sure what the hydrocarbon is. So I'm actually going to make it C question mark, H question mark. I know it's going to react with oxygen, which is O2, and I know it's going to produce carbon dioxide and water, because all combustion reactions with hydrocarbons produce carbon dioxide and water. So let's write down what we have. 5 grams of this question mark substance, 14.67 grams of carbon dioxide, and 9 grams of water. So if we can use a percent composition to figure out how many grams of hydrogen are in 9 grams of water and how many grams of carbon are in 14.67 grams CO2, then we can use that to figure out the number of grams of hydrogen and carbon in our question mark substance, and then we can find our empirical formula. So we're going to do that next. So if we're going to find the number of grams carbon using percent composition, we need to know how much CO2 weighs. So carbon is 12 plus 2 times 16 for the oxygen is a total of 44. And for water, that's 2 times 1 plus 16, which is a total of 18. So let's start with the carbon. I know that carbon weighs 12 out of a total 44 for carbon dioxide. How much is carbon out of a total 14.67? So we're going to cross multiply, that's 12 times 14.67 divided by 44, and you end up with x is equal to 4 grams. 4 grams out of 14.67 is carbon. We'll do the same thing for hydrogen. I know that hydrogen is 2 out of a total mass for water is 18. So how much is hydrogen out of a total mass of 9? So again, cross multiply 2 times 9 divided by 18, and you end up with 1. And notice 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, so that means we've done something correct here. So problem is empirical formulas, moles not grams, we're going to convert this to moles. We're going to divide the carbon by 12 because 12 grams are equal to 1 mole, and we're going to divide the hydrogen by 1 because 1 gram is equal to 1 mole for hydrogen. And we get 1, and we get 0 0.333, or a third. Now we're going to divide both sides by the smaller, and that way the smallest one will end up being 1, and the larger one will hopefully be a whole number. And when you divide 1 by 0.333, you end up with 3. So the empirical formula is 1 carbon for every 3 hydrogens, or CH3. Okay, so here's the very last problem on the last page of the notes. Awesome! 1.55 grams of a CHO compound are combusted for analysis, which yields 1.45 grams of CO2, 0 0.89 grams of water, and the molar mass of the compound is 188 grams per mole. Write the complete balanced equation for this reaction. So in order to write the complete balanced equation, we need to know what the formula is for this compound. Notice that it's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So it's a little bit different from what we did before. The formula is going to look something like this. C-H-O. I'm going to have question marks by all of those because I don't know what the formula is. Plus O2 makes CO2 plus water. And it's going to get set up the same way as we set up the other problem. 1.45 grams of CO2 has how many grams of carbon? 0 0.89 grams of H2O has how many grams of hydrogen? And then from there, we will hopefully figure out the mass of the oxygen so we can find the empirical formula of this CHO compound.
First, let's find the mass of C and 1.45 grams of CO2. I know that carbon is 12 out of a total to 44 for CO2. So how much is that out of 1.45? Cross multiply and divide and you should get 0 0.395 grams for carbon. For hydrogen, it's 2 out of a total of 18 for water. So how much would that, that be out of 0 0.89? Cross multiply and divide and you get 0 0.09889. And then for oxygen, this guy is tricky. I cannot find just the mass of oxygen in CO2 and the mass of oxygen in H2O and add them together because that's discounting the oxygen that it came from the original problem. So instead, I'm going to take this 1.55 grams that we originally had and subtract out the carbon and subtract out the hydrogen and what's left is the oxygen that came from this compound leaving out the oxygen that came from the air. So if I had a total of 1.55 grams subtract the carbon subtract the hydrogen I will end up with a mass of 1.056 grams for the oxygen. Then I'm going to take all of those numbers and turn them into moles so I can get a mole ratio. For carbon, that's 12 grams for every one mole. For hydrogen, that's one gram for every one mole. And without a calculator, I can go ahead and do that one. And then for oxygen, that's 16 grams for every one mole. So let's grab my calculator. The carbon ends up being 0 0.03295 moles. The oxygen ends up being 0 0.06599 moles. Then I'm going to divide them all by the smallest. So divide them all by the 0 0.03295. I can fix that. And Type that into my calculator. For the carbon, I'll have one. For the hydrogen, I have three. And for the oxygen, I have two. So that's an empirical formula of CH3O2. So the empirical formula of the compound is CH3O2. So that makes the molar mass of this compound 12 plus 3 times hydrogen plus 2 times oxygen, which is a total of 47 but the molar mass of the entire compound is 188 grams per mole. So how many times does 47 go into 188? Divide that and you end up with 4. Which means that I would have to take this whole compound and multiply it times 4 to get the molecular formula instead of the empirical formula. So instead of C1, that's going to be C4. 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 times 4 is 8. So the molecular formula is C4H12O8. Oh, I wish we were done, but it's asking for the actual balanced equation. So my next step is writing a balanced equation using that one. And wait, before I do, I realized I put 44 here, and this should be 47. But it still does divide to equal 4. So now I have C4H12O8 plus oxygen is going to make CO2 plus water. So that's 4 carbons. I'll need 4 CO2s. That's 12 hydrogens, so I'll need 6 waters to give me 12 hydrogens. And for the oxygen, 4 CO2s is 8 oxygens. 6 waters is 6 oxygens. That's a total of 14 oxygens. On the other side, I already have 8 oxygens, so 14 minus 8 gives me 6. So I need 6 oxygens with the O2, so I'm going to make it 3 O2. My final balanced equation is C4H12O8 plus 3O2 makes 4 CO2 and 6 waters. And there you have it, combustion analysis. All right, well, that ends this unit. We are done with mole and stoichiometry. I hope to see you next time.